Do you enjoy painting or drawing animals? Have you ever tried to draw or paint a tortoise or a turtle? These little creatures are so adorable and really a great animal to practice your drawing and painting skills. Hello everyone, my name is Amber and welcome to my studio. I believe there's an artist in every one of us. And my aim is to help you unleash your inner artist and help you to learn some of my best techniques to help you create art both quickly and smartly. Today I'm going to show you how to simplify the tortoise using an ink and bleach technique. The whole process took me approximately two hours to complete from start to finish, but I've sped up this video for you in a time lapse video to show you rather the essential parts of my process and also to show you the end result of what you can actually do with this really wonderful medium. So yes, I guess let's get to it. Here we have our light tortoise outline drawn in pencil. As this is a time-lapse video, we'll be focusing more on the application of this mixed media technique and less on getting proportions correct for your outline. Therefore, I've started at the point of a very light outline of the tortoise. This was free hand drawn, so there is some fuzzy texture to my line art. As you can see, I don't close my lines and the overall shape of the tortoise has been drawn with a very light pencil. So this is another important tip. You should use a light pencil, something like an HB is perfect, as this outline should be as light as possible for this technique. I'm also using Canson Acrowell paper today. It's 300 grams per square meter, acid-free paper. Um, it's a standard A3 size format, which I bought online from Amazon. Now, ink is very similar to watercolor, so Acrowell paper or mixed media paper is in my opinion, the best paper to use for ink and bleach drawings, as these papers are suitable for all water application mediums. Of course, you can use any brand of paper. There are so many options available on the market and loads of affordable options too. Now, before you start applying ink, it's important to have your line art correct and the proportions accurate, otherwise you just won't get the results you're looking for. And your tortoise will look rather unnatural. I'd be happy to do a brief tutorial on drawing proportions accurately in another video. If this is something you'd like to see, then please let me know by dropping a comment below this video. Alternatively, there are other options for those of you who are not fully confident in your drawing skills yet, such as tracing or working straight from a digital outline. Although, if you're serious about improving your art skills, I do believe drawing is at the very foundation of your success. And once you break down the process of proportions, it can be a rather surprisingly and enjoy surprisingly enjoyable learning process. What we're doing now I refer to as the detail phase in my process. This is essentially identifying the focus points of your subject. For the tortoise, it, it is a bit trickier as the head and the shell are rather detailed and require a fair amount of focus in areas such as around the eyes and the rough scale-like texture in the head and then the strong tortoise shell pattern that we see behind the head. In this case, I've started with the eyes and the head. You can, you can of course, alternatively start with the shell. Either is fine and the end result would be the same. So the goal from here on with the ink application is to simply apply the ink with different intensities by adding water to it to show mid-tones and the lighter areas. This is achieved by dipping your paintbrush into the ink and then slightly into water, and other times dipping your paintbrush into water without removing all the ink to get the lightest tone of ink you can. You'll also see that I occasionally change my brush 
This is to allow for more control and accuracy according to how large or small the shape or area is that I'm wanting to add ink to. So depending on your paper size and the scale of outline, it determines which brushes are size appropriate. Now this is actually something that I feel a lot of people underestimate. The use of the correct size brushes, and this applies to watercolor paints as well. Some people struggle with drawing and painting within the lines, sometimes going over the outline unexpectedly. Often with painting, it is two mistakes that are very easily made. One is that you may be trying to add fine detail to a small area with the wrong shape brush and or the incorrect brush size. For example, maybe the detailed area is, one, is a one millimeter line and you're trying to make that one millimeter line with a brush that spreads five millimeters wide and doesn't have a pointed tip. Well, it's never going to be a one, one millimeter line no matter how hard you try. The other common mistake is applying too much water or pigment at the edge of your pencil outline. This is a classic mistake that will cause unwanted spreading over and out of the, out of the line. So just be mindful of these very common mistakes with drawing or painting with ink or watercolor. Simply ask yourself, does the size and shape of my brush fit the area I want to paint? Secondly, am I applying too much water or pigment to the edge of my outline? As you can see, I'm continuing to apply the ink in different intensities, leaving no areas of white paper within the tortoise outline. It is important in this phase not to worry about creating a lot of depth and contrast, as this comes later when applying the bleach. You're basically adding subtle tones, mid-tones mostly, um, to create just those areas of, of dark and to sort of recognize that there are different sort of uh, shapes, different areas of the tortoise, and there's different directions in which the shell and the scales and also the patterns form on the tortoise shell and on the tortoise's body. The ink color that I'm using today is a navy that I mixed myself. It's a combination of black and blue fountain pen ink. Um, I would say it's roughly um, two thirds black and one third blue ink. Um, I quite like this color, but you can use just regular black ink or blue ink, fountain pen ink. That tends to work best for this um, mixed media technique. Once you've finished applying the ink to the whole tortoise, then your drawing should have reached the ugly phase. Now I call this the ugly phase, as often at this stage, the drawing can look quite flat and lack sufficient depth and contrast. However, this is just part of the process. After you're finished with the ink application, you will let the ink dry for approximately 15 minutes or until slightly dry to the touch. While you wait for your ink to dry, you can rinse out your ink soaked brushes and pat them dry, as you will be using them to apply the bleach. Yeah, and um, as you can see, I'm just continuing to fill um, our little tortoise here with um, ink in different intensities. Um, I'm constantly, while I'm doing this, I'm looking at my reference image to see where the darker areas are and where the lighter areas are, and just filling that in. Now we move on to apply the bleach. Uh, it's highly important that the ink you use reacts and dyes the ink a yellow-orange color. Some inks like India inks will not work well with the bleach. Um, I can recommend three fountain pen ink brands that do react well. Um, Parker, Pelican and Octopus fountain pen ink. Another important note 
is to use blue or black color ink. You can also mix these two colors together if you like. The reason for this is that these colors have a nice strong contrast when they're bleached, giving off a yellow orange color in contrast to the ink pigment. Um, as for the type of uh, bleach, uh, you can use most household bleach as long as it is a thin liquid consistency, similar to water. Um, if you don't have bleach on hand, most hardware stores stock it, some supermarkets, and of course, you can order it online from Amazon. Now you may notice uh, and I'm use, that I'm using various brushes, I've been using various brushes, um, and dipping each one in when needed, lightly into the bleach, um, not um, making the entire brush um, heavily soaked in the bleach. You want to use your bleach very sparingly uh, as it will lighten and fade parts of the ink. However, we still want to keep a fair amount of the ink to achieve some contrast and depth. I also use the fan brush a lot uh, as this is so versatile and it is one of the best brush, brush shapes to create a rough or scratch texture and add a rustic natural look to the shell of the tortoise. Um, now you can see really how the ugly phase is being transformed by the addition of bleach. Um, I call this uh, phase of the drawing and painting the defining phase. It really starts to bring the tortoise to life and really define the pattern in the shell of this cute little tortoise. At some point, um, before you even realize it, your tortoise uh, will start to really come to life. And now the level of detail you choose to add is entirely up to you. It all depends how much time you want to spend on your drawing or painting with this technique. The important thing is not to add too much bleach to your drawing. However, if you do this, it isn't a problem as you can simply go back after the bleach has dried completely and then apply a little more ink in different intensities as you did in the second stage or the first stage in this case um, to those areas where you had too much bleach added and it took away too much of the ink and you need to add a little bit more of that back to create those different intensities. 
Um, another thing is you can see the fan brush that I'm using is a different type of brush with a lot more rougher bristles. This brush is actually a fan brush for oil painting, um, but I find that the rough brushed bristles on this fan brush work perfectly with this technique. So I have specifically used that brush intentionally for this mixed media. Um, and then you can see I have a brush to do my finer details. And um, now we're getting to the point where I have actually put too much bleach <laughs> on my drawing and I've had to add in a little bit more ink to sort of enhance uh, different tones and some details in the shell. Um, it's pretty common that you might add, add too, too much bleach. Um, I find that uh, most of the time when I'm doing these drawings that does happen. Um, and also you, once you wait for it to dry, it does get lighter. So you, you most likely are going to have to go back and add a little bit more ink in certain areas. Um, but that isn't really a, a problem. It's just probably more, more of the process, I would think, because it's difficult to determine um, how much lighter your drawing is going to be um, before it's actually fully dried um, after you've applied the bleach. So... Yeah, um, I hope uh, this tutorial was very helpful. If you guys have any comments or any questions, please feel free to ask. You can pop them at the bottom of the video um, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for stopping by today. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial on how to draw a tortoise. Please don't forget to subscri subscribe, click notification and don't forget to click like. Um, if you'd like to see any more art videos that I may have available for you in the upcoming weeks. Um, you don't want to miss out on any of the new animals I'll be drawing as well as some different mediums, mixed mediums I will be posting videos on. Some of them will be slower tutorial based videos so you'll get a little bit more detail. So yes, if you don't want to miss out, please don't forget to subscribe and click notification. And then of course like, don't forget to like. <laughs> Thanks guys. Thanks for joining us today in Studio Art by Amber. And yeah, have a wonderful day. Well that was quite good, that flowed. Those words. Wait, I had that so perfectly, I almost forgot it. Jeez. Actors really have a hard job here. <laughs> so, so I hope you'll enjoy this time lapse video where we'll be drawing or we'll be practicing a uh, to draw a tortoise or a bison, one of the two. <laughs> Very much one. Have you ever wondered how to use ink? Have you ever wondered how to use ink? Ink is cool. No. Do you enjoy drawing or painting animals? Have you ever tried to draw or paint a tortoise or a tortoise, be tortoise before? <laughs> or tortoise. <laughs> Do you enjoy 